It's Wednesday, Gladiators. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Marissa Trahill, and this is your KWHS News. We are starting things off on a more serious note with the topic of suicide. Suicide is a hard topic to discuss because it is such a personal subject. But we've had so many suicides in the past few months that something needs to be done. According to Adrian Stanley from the Colorado Independent, Colorado has one of the largest rates of teen suicide. Not a great characteristic for the Pikes Peak region. In fact, you may know someone who has tried or even succeeded in committing suicide. Knowing what to do, say, or how to help is a challenge. Because of this, Whitefield School District 3 has partnered with Aspen Point to hold a suicide prevention clinic on September 21st at the Mesa Ridge Auditorium from 6 to 8 p.m. Aspen Point's licensed clinicians will present tips and coping strategies, discuss warning signs, and provide additional resources. Please join us in this very important presentation and bring your family, friends, and neighbors. As a community, we're trying to help stop teen suicides. If you need more information, please call this number. Marissa? The Red Cross Club is hosting a fundraiser called Penny Wars to raise relief funds for the hurricane victims in Florida and Louisiana. The fundraiser is happening now and ends on Friday. The club will have tables set up in the science hall. Bring all of your spare change and join the cause. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps have started their visits with us. Today, CU Boulder will be here. September 21st brings UCCS, while Metro State University will be here on September 22nd and Colorado College will visit us on September 27th. George Mason University closes out the month with a visit on September 28th. October visits start off with Grand Canyon University on October 6th, then Western State University on October 11th, and Fort Hayes State University on October 12th. In November, UNC Greeley will stop by on the 1st, DU will be here on the 8th, and Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. And CSU for Collins will end the month with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get your pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Also, seniors, be sure to check out the link on the WHS Counseling Center page for scholarship ideas. The list is also updated regularly at the Counseling Center for more information. One last deadline to keep in mind is for the FAFSA application. March 31st is the deadline to submit your FAFSA for the 2016-17 school year. This application is required for grants, scholarships, and other forms of financial aid. Please check with the financial aid office at the school you plan to attend for accurate deadlines. Access the FAFSA through this website and be aware of scams. You should never have to pay to complete the FAFSA. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Hi, everybody. It's Miss Betsy here. Uh, we're having chicken enchilada casserole today. I hope you enjoy it. Come by and see us. Thanks. That sounds like a great lunch for Wednesday. Hey, seniors, the first senior class meeting of the year will be tomorrow during advisory in the auditorium. There will be lots of information regarding graduation. If you cannot make the meeting, you must see Miss Jones in the counseling center. Speaking of graduation, Herf Jones will be in the lower commons during lunch next Thursday, September 22nd to help seniors place cap, counting graduation announcement orders. Place your orders before winter break, before prices go up. Announcements with the WHS logo and more limited in January. Go to this website after September 22nd to place orders. If you have any questions, contact Herf Jones directly at this number. Senior photos and baby ads are due on October 21st. See Ms. Kennedy for details. Book club meets today at lunch in Mrs. Wickberg's room. After this week, meetings will be moved to Tuesdays. If you cannot attend, return your book and get the new one. Robotics club is also meeting today at lunch in room two. See Mr. White for questions. Here's Elijah with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your Gladiator sports update. The next fall baseball workout is today at 4 on Big Blue. Volleyball has a game tonight at home against Pueblo Centennial. Come support your Lady Glads in their quest for victory. Interested in Ultimate Frisbee? See Mr. Nell in room 116 or Mr. Wallace in room 4. Softball played Mitchell yesterday and the Lady Glads pillaged a win from the Marauders. Have an excellent Wednesday. Back to you, Marissa and Abby. Thanks, Elijah. Glads, homecoming is around the corner on Saturday the 24th. The theme is Grecian Gardens. Remember your outside guest forms are due this Friday by 3 p.m. 
and tickets are now on pre-sale for $10 in the business office. Sounds like a fun night. Ladies, you only have two weeks to get your homecoming dress. See Mrs. Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library. Now until the 23rd to make a dress appointment for Becca's closet. Remember that the dress is yours to keep. If you haven't already nominated your favorite senior boy and girl for homecoming king and queen, you can still do that today and tomorrow in the small gym. Spirit Week starts next week. Here's the schedule so you can start planning your outfits. Monday is stoplight day. Tuesday, no school, so wear your PJs all day. Wednesday is twin day. Thursday is throwback Thursday. And Friday is Olympic ring day. Whitefield Gladi Actors presents stories like Rainbow Fish, The Sneetches, The Monster at the End of the Book, and more. Bring your younger brothers and sisters or just come to remember what it was like to be a little kid. Tomorrow in the auditorium starting at 7. For a mere $2, you can join the Rowdy Ride this Friday to the football game against Cheyenne Mountain. Get your permission form from the business office, Miss Miles in the attendance office, or from Mr. Sickmiller in the math department. Seating is limited and is first come, first served. Permission forms and money are due this Friday by 1130. Have a great Wednesday, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Marissa Trujillo, and this was your KWHS News.